presented by Hammerhead and the Karoo 2, the only cycling computer with predictive path technology. Get yours at hammerhead.io. On site in Copenhagen, Denmark, and we're one day out from the Tour de France, beginning just here in town, and the tension is in the air. It's coronavirus cases, it's police searches, and it's the threat of rain. Let's begin with the coronavirus cases, but coronavirus still rips through the peloton. Bob Jungles tested positive, but he's staying in the race. Tim Leclerc leaves Team De Kuhn at Quick Step, has to go home. Matteo Trenton from defending Team UAE Team Emirates has to leave the race. And we also saw on Team Israel Premier Tech, Daryl Impey and Omar Goldstein. But that does bring in the opportunity for Guillaume Bovan, another Canadian, the third Canadian in the team, to get a shot to race the Tour de France. So everybody's watching coronavirus and what happens. Good news is the UCI says that if there are multiple cases in the team, the team no longer has to leave the race. The team can stay in the race. So that's great news for the teams hoping to win and compete in the Tour de France. But let's talk about this ongoing Bahrain victorious incident because police searched the team's hotel this morning, the riders and staff's rooms and the cars at 5.30 in the morning. Nothing was found, but this follows up on the police searches just earlier this week in Slovenia, Spain and Poland, all across Europe and last year's searches during the Tour de France of Team Bahrain Victoria. So that's a story to keep following. Also, too, is the weather because rain is predicted just as the last riders are finishing the race. The TT begins at 4 p.m., 1600 hours, and we saw some of those top guys are slated in those first opening slots. Matthew Vanderpool, Primoz Rolich, and the last rider rolls off at 18.55 here, 13.2 kilometer team time trial, just as the rainstorms could start to fall on Copenhagen here in Denmark.